Just wanted to make this quick video um, regarding the blower motor switch on my 1999 uh, Chevrolet Tahoe, uh, although this will be the same for uh, all the uh, GMT 400s with uh, the style, uh, I believe 1995 and later uh, HVAC control unit. Um, so I was wondering where my blower motor speeds were acting erratic and then eventually my blower motor just would not turn on at all. I'd smelled the burning smell earlier, but I assumed it was from my new head unit uh, blasting really loud music. Um, now I know it wasn't that. So this bolt, or screw, sorry, uh, will be right here holding this little retaining bracket on and keyed into that shaft right there is this switch. And this is the blower motor switch itself. Now, when I took the connector off, I could tell instantly that um, there were some pretty burnt up pins in there. So I pretty much knew at that point that was the problem. But uh, it wasn't until I actually uh, undid these little clips here and popped this thing open when I really realized <laughs> it's, it's kind of a joke that they would think that those little contacts are sufficient enough to switch that current of the blower motor. Um, now, the current for the highest speed, uh, which is direct 12 volt battery current, runs through a Siemens relay. It was Siemens on my car. Anyway, um, so this is just for the uh, resistor speeds, uh, which are the um, low, uh, medium one, and medium two speeds. So uh, low, medium one, and medium two. Uh, according to the wiring diagram, run through those um, resistors, um, but that current is switched with this switch here. Um, so these are completely burnt up. I mean, these are tiny switches. Like, I would maybe, I don't know what I would use this switch for, what I would trust it for, but um, certainly not something with such a high current draw like a blower motor. So this part's spring-loaded, um, and then that little nub there, uh, will contact the respective contacts there and uh, give you different blower motor speeds, uh, the highest one actually closing that relay and delivering full battery voltage to the system, to the motor. What I'm going to end up doing is tapping in and adding relays for the uh, three uh, resistive speeds um, because I really don't want to have to do this again. Um, and this is kind of a fire hazard, so I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, this switch uh, from my research, preliminary research, I typed in a GM92100 uh, switch, I think, on Google, and a few results came up on eBay. I think they were under 10 bucks, so I'll be replacing this and adding relays uh, prospectively for now, um, and probably won't run into this issue again. Um, and maybe my truck won't burn down. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.